There are two vocabulary words that I haven't really emphasized enough in this class, and I'm going to start my class with that. And then we're going to talk about wrapper classes today. Just in case you're interested, this is a list of everything that I could find that's on Unit 2. We've already discussed the math classes. Wrapper classes is a fairly short subject, about a half hour. We'll finish that today. Constructors were already done. We'll talk about the vocabulary today. And then the next time we're together, we'll talk about overloading versus overriding. And then we'll spend a good week and a half to two weeks on the string class. That's really the, the meatiest topic in Unit 2. OK, let's uh, talk a little bit about this class that I have started to put together. And uh, this class here, I've called it the human class. And you can see I've got these two private variables. One is the name and the heart rate of the human. And then back down here in some other class, or it could be in this class, I guess, I have my test code, which is the main method. And I've got this human h equals new human. This, by the way, is the standard way that we create objects in Java. We give it a variable name. We use the keyword new. And we call a constructor. Now, I think so far this year, I have been referring to these private variables that belong to a class as state variables. And that's a good explanation and description of them. But another term that is often used with these variables, these are called attributes of the class. And the reason why that's important is that that term attribute, that's the official thing that the College Board has decided to call them. And there's going to be questions on your quiz that ask, what are the attributes of this class? Or how many attributes does the class have? How many attributes does this class have? Yes, sir? Yeah. Two. You can see name and heart rate are the attributes of the human class. The other thing is that down here, you can see I've created this human object, h. Now, I have been referring to h as an object of the class human, and that is correct. However, the College Board refers to it slightly differently. They say that h is an instance of the human class. So they use the word instance. So h is an instance of the human class. h is also an object of class human. Those are the two different ways to describe it. The word instance, though, is going to be, again be used on your quizzes, your tests, and on your AP exams. So therefore, two words you want to walk away with today one is attribute, which means a state variable of the class. And the other is an instance of a class, which is another word for object.